Welcome back. I'm Shaq. And we got us another video. I've been conditioning and moisturizing my beard. This thing feels soft and it smells good too. He ain't lying. Famous rapper Glorilla was pulled over for a DUI and he got the tape. And I'm gonna react to it because I wanna see how she reacts when being arrested. Hopefully it goes down civilized. But hold up, you just hitting this video, needs you hit the like button, hit the subscribe and hit the notification bell. And in the comment section, you can leave a thumbs up down there or a heart. Zoom in. Just let me know it's real. But let's waste no more time. Let's roll the clip. Oh, oh you know what that was. Oh, that doo doo, baby. Hey, I'm Officer Corolla, it's Morning Police. So the reason I pulled you over today is because you made a U turn at a red light. Uh, okay. My GPS is taking me a while back this way in the city there. And it took you over there? Yeah. Okay, so. Do me a favor so we can get out of this roadway. Um, I'm gonna need your driver's license. I'm gonna go back to my car. I'll flash my lights at you. Whenever I do that, or whenever these whenever these cars pass us, I want you to turn into this turn lane over here, okay? okay. And just stay right there for me. What are you drinking tonight? I like it. Okay, so I can smell it coming from my breath, okay? All right, when you hold down the window, okay? Yeah. So, uh, in a few minutes, I'm going to have another officer come over here, and we're going, um, if you're willing, I'm just going to ask you a few questions, okay? Okay. All right, how, how many drinks did you have today? I'm cool. I ain't, I'm cool? Yeah, I ain't drunk or nothing. Or seven videos, certainly a good seven. Um, how many drinks did you have, Mike? I'm okay. Um, That's not my question. Don't ask! questions you aren't prepared to handle the answer to Glorilla, oh sweet jesus she's not your friend as a cop she's not your friend so you can't do the not answering questions thing okay just answer the question you seem drunk you seem drunk right now i'm okay on 10 10 ma'am i'm okay not Stop. only can i smell alcohol coming from your breath but i can also smell marijuana coming from this car Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't trust that no more. The amount of times I've been pulled over and the cops said that they smell marijuana in my car and I don't even smoke. Yeah, I don't even smoke. And they always smell it when they pull me over. Goddamn right. So in just a moment, I'll be searching this car. Is there anything that I'm going to find in this car? I have a uh, gun and rage to my knife. A gun? Okay, yeah. where is the gun at? It's okay, you don't have to reach for it. Where is yeah, it? Yeah, it's in the car. Where is it? In the car. Yes, ma'am. I mean, where at? It's in just my for my seat. safety. Okay. Yeah, it's in and my back seat. Where is it? Like in a bag or? Uh, no, it's just in the back seat. Okay. All right. Then you get um marijuana. Not nothing I can go to jail. That's not what I'm asking. Man. If if you if you if, if you already know the answers to your questions, then why ask? Pig. Well, really, you are not good at answering questions, I can tell. This is going to be a long night. I just want to know. I mean, I'm going to find it either way. I'm just, I mean, it's I can Maybe smell. like a, a two point something. Do you know who I am? No, I don't. No, no. Oh. Nigga, please. Negro, you got some goddamn nerves. You think I let you give a goddamn who you are? I don't know if that was entitlement, that was alcohol, or that was fentanyl something was speaking for you something came out of your soul to let you say something that no one cared about you said an opening i don't an opening way no it's called the club it's called opening i think i've heard of opium i've never heard of it you don't know who i am okay well you're not out i know last name woods uh, from what I just saw, but oh, yeah. that's all. Uh, it's all right, it's all right. Uh, but yeah, it's okay. I'll wait on you. Enlighten me on who you are. You're seeing me. No, because you still going to pick on me. You don't matter who I am. Pick on you? I'm not picking on you. You're driving I'm, I'm a... and I can smell alcohol off your breath. But I'm not drunk. I can tell you that. I can promise you that I do. But... Right. Yeah, I'm on your TV. Would you submit to the roadside? Breath and what if I don't? What's my right? The right yeah. is to say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> a glow that nipple sticking out. Your breasts. What about them? They intrigued me. I'm just saying. I'm watching. 
We all like chesticles. Pause. It's voluntary. Yeah. It's voluntary? Okay. Are you refusing? I would like to refuse. I would like to refuse. Mm. You would like to refuse? Ma'am, you're, um, cover up. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> nah, chocolate girl. I'm trying to marinate your mind. You ain't got to cover it up. You can take it off. I just really need to free the nipple. <laughs> very good. Very good. <laughs> Thanks. Um, all right. So do me a favor. Just sit right here for me, okay? So step out and then walk to the front of my car, okay? I told you I had to pee, so that's why my pants, my flowers is. It's okay. okay. Just go to the front of my car, okay? This is Corporal Catrice. Is that a thing? Do women actually open their pants up if they got to pee? In the comment section, all the chocolate ladies and the vanilla sisters out there, tell me, do women open their pants up if they got to pee? I call bullshit. Are you willing just to see if you can make it home? I would feel better. Um, would I you would be willing it. to submit to field sobriety tests? Yeah. You say? Mm -hmm. Okay. Lies, lies, and more lies, and lies on top of lies. All right, so what that is walking a So it's gonna be a few of them. It'll be a few evaluations. Okay, we do three. Feet together. <laughs> yeah, I might as well let me pee on the side. I got pee. Feet together. Okay. All right. And I want you to stand still. Okay. And I want you to look at look at the tip of my finger with okay. your eyes and your eyes only. Okay. Don't move your head. Do you understand? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not drunk, I'm telling you. <laughs> Once you start this evaluation, I don't want you to stop. Do you understand? Until you have completed it. You understand? Now let me know when to turn. No, ma'am, that's on you. Uh, you gonna trick me? No, ma'am, I explained it to you. Do I need to explain it to you again? So walk, as soon as I get to nine, I turn around and do another nine. From the way the cop is talking, once again, I don't think she's your friend. Whenever I hear that I'm in charge talk thing going on, like you're a teacher, we're not friends. You're letting me know we're not friends. And this is my own belief. Whenever an adult starts talking to another adult as if they're a teacher, it's not gonna go well. They're usually gonna do something that push boundaries. I don't like it, just me. Yes, ma'am. Can you say it with me while I do it? No, ma'am. This is on you. Because I don't want to mess up and you blame it on me. No, ma'am. This okay, is your, your evaluation, okay? All right, I'm ready. You start whenever you want to. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Raise your foot, six inches. Okay, hands by your side, keep them both straight. She don't look drunk at all. She actually looks like she can get home, but I'm not a cop. I'll say that out loud, I'm not a cop. I believe a lot of cops aren't supposed to be a lot of cops either. I kind of think I have a point. So yeah, I don't think she's drunk and I'm gonna stand on that. But I'm still not a cop. And count out loud, go. One, two. So that was a fucking lie. What? The a portable breath test that she is offering right now is a roadside breath test. It's not admissible in court. Or just give us a determination based off of that. If you, whether there's alcohol in your system or not. It just gives us a reading on whether or not you have alcohol. Okay, but I'm saying, if they don't change nothing. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's completely voluntary. It just shows whether or not you have I'm not drunk. That's, I mean, we have those evaluations set for a certain reason. 
Give me a break. That's a bunch of malarkey. And the value, how, how do you tell the evaluation? So we're not going to go over that on the side of the road. Yeah. No evaluations meant nothing. They was gonna arrest you anyways. You can have somebody on the side of the road walking around, lifting their legs, doing all these things, and still say that they are drunk when they do it all. I went and read it on the website. They just said she failed. When watching it, Lady Legs stood up the whole time. They said she couldn't keep balance. She clearly kept balance. She, she was walking the straight line. They just say what they want and it, it just slide. I just say, Ayo, hey, handcuff me. I'm not finna do this test because I already know it ain't gonna mean nothing. You're gonna save me to jail anyways. If that is not the most douchiest douche thing I've ever heard of, you don't wanna take the breathalyzer? I'm finna make you dance around and then still send you to jail. How about that? Catch me outside. How about that? If I could be completely honest, I guess you should have took the breathalyzer then, but I still don't trust them after that. I feel like y'all uh, not doing y'all job right. All right. Ma'am, so do me a favor. What's y'all name? Sure Officer Fro. Okay, can you tell my brother y'all names? Yeah, yes, ma'am. We're going to go talk to him in just a moment, okay? Can I see the Nigeria off my off me? Big screen. Bro, that was disrespectful. All y'all did was waste her time. You didn't even have to have her doing this test. I'm not going to lie to you. She did a great job being respectful to the cops. Talking about please and thank you. They're called the magic words. Besides the beginning part, beginning part, you would be slightly difficult. But midway, you was attempting to be friendly with the cops, which I say, I, my back was itching. I had to scratch it. Those cops, especially the lady cop, there's no reason to be her friend. There's no reason to be. They was acting like they're all buddy buddy in the beginning. Bro, you was gonna arrest me anyways. Why? Why did you do this? Explain yourself. This reminds me of a story. I was in a car with me, my dad, and my friend. I was driving to go check a building. Me and my brother own a cleaning business, so I was going to check a building that was being cleaned. A cop pulled me over because I wasn't going fast enough. Yeah, think that. Yeah. Move your yeah. His reason was because I didn't have a seat belt on. But the problem is, he was behind me, and then he moved behind another truck, and then he moved back behind me because I started picking up speed, but then I slowed back down, and I didn't leave enough space for him to get past. Then he turned his lights on. So I looked at my dad, and I told him, I think he's mad at me. I'm not gonna lie, he's probably mad at me. The cop pulled us over. He literally walked up to the side where I was and said, you had your seatbelt on? Immediately in my head, my first thought is to lie. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. My first thought is to lie. Like, I'm a very paranoid person, so I think you know that I'm lying to you, and I don't want, like, I don't want any situation. So, like, nah, I didn't have my seatbelt on. That's the stupidest thing I've ever heard. So, after that, uh, he went back to his car. He sat in that bitch for like 40 minutes. I was sitting there talking to my dad. I have never been sitting out here this long before. This is crazy. This man called two other cops and dogs to come smell my car for marijuana that he said he smelled. And I was looking at my dad like, what is this for a seatbelt? After that, he made us step out the car and his drug dog supposedly did a sign where he hit my car saying that there was illegal drugs in there. I said to the cop that his drug dog gotta be broke cause I don't, I don't smoke. And then they started looking around in my car. I'm sitting there like, what's happening right now? Then they went and found my weapon that I have, you know, my pew pew. And then he said, you didn't tell me you had one. I didn't know that you could search my car. They put me and my friend in cuffs, not my dad. So I asked, why you put him in cuffs? What are you doing? The one guy was like, well, they're just being safe. So my dad can't do anything? He's not capable of being a criminal as well? And I forgot to add that I've been pulled over there three times in one week. Damn. One of the cops that showed up, he was the guy who pulled me over twice. I pointed out by saying, hey, well, I know you. And he recognized me. It's not that mean bald black guys with dangling earrings nowadays. You know, cause like a lot of guys put man wigs on. Yeah. They let me go. They they did all that searching my car, broke everything down, looking for, you know, illegal things, found nothing. 
and then let me go. And after that, I told one of the cops, like, so how do we go about fixing this broke dog? He didn't answer me. I told my friend and my dad, like, never again will I come out here. That right there made me distrust all the things when they let police say that they smell something, like use their own senses. I don't trust that no more. No, no, no. Anytime I'm just having a conversation with a normal cop and he said, oh yeah, I could smell something. I think in my head is, I don't care. That means nothing to me. Human beings lie and you're a human. I hope you liked this video. If you haven't already, hit the like button and subscribe. And if you want to watch more videos like this, you should go watch my shorts or hit the notification bell so you'll know when another video coming out.